can we talk a little bit about the positive side of failing? Um, because, oh, yes. because so many, <laughs> I did a whole episode on it. <laughs> I mean, because so many people are like, I don't want to fail. I don't want to fail. I'm like, you have to, it's fail part, big, fail, it fa- fail big and fail often. Cause that's the only way you're going to learn. You know, you don't win. If you win the, uh, if you hit a home run every single time you're up at bat, you will never understand when it, when, and when, and when it doesn't happen, you won't be able to handle it because you won't have the, the resources inside of you, the coping mechanisms to deal with the failure. You should fail often all the time. So when those, yeah. when those, when those things happen that are like amazing, then you're like, Oh, this is nice. But something's gonna happen. I see it. Uh, let's go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> but it, and then it's also multifaceted. Too. Like I, I, I said, I, I've said since the beginning of Film Riot, my my phrase has been like, "Failure is the bridge to success." I don't know if I stole that from somebody or if that's my own thing. I actually don't know at this point. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I had been doing it long enough to know how important failure was, and and especially now I understand even more that you two things. One, you can't appreciate what you have unless it's been hard as hell to, to get it. If you eat the best hundred dollar steak in the world every night for dinner, you know, it's not going to mean, but if you just have shitty fast food all the time and then you get to take a bite of that steak, then it's like, Oh my God. Um, so one, you're appreciating what you have and it just makes you a more well-rounded person. All that failure is going to make you like specifically for me, for a director, all the failure that we've had has made me a better director because it it makes me empathize with my crew crew more and it lets you lead them better with more empathy and, you know, sensitivity. And then I don't know how you can be a well-rounded, good storyteller that connects with an audience without experiencing that failure. The understanding of that failure is one, it's just the human experience. And it's going to put everything in perspective for you. But two, every single failure is the best education you've ever had. Like, I don't learn off of success. When I show somebody a script and they're like, this was fantastic. I'm like, cool. But what didn't work, though? You know, if that all you say to me is this is fantastic and there was nothing that didn't work for you, there's nothing I can process. There's nothing I can learn from. But if it comes back with this didn't work, this didn't work, this didn't work, even if it's not this is why I think it didn't work, that's not always needed. It's just like, okay, this isn't landing for you. Why is that? And being able to analyze those. So it's the it's those failures, those those negative outcomes that allow you to, you know, um, uh, proceed, get better, advance as a human and a storyteller uh, and just a craftsman overall, I think. 